don't know if you guys can see it. I'm not too sure who thought that was a good idea, but they have sprayed the dirt lot with like tar. And it sticks to your tires, it sticks to your feet. Hello, it's Daniel. Hi. All right, so we'll do that. I'm pretty sure that that red bud's first come, first serve on delivery too, if it's the place I'm thinking it is. So it shouldn't be a problem. All right, sounds good. So at least we know what we're doing. Yeah, well, if you can get some coils, a city coils out of um, Granite City going, o going over to uh, Il uh, Illinois. Louisville, L Louisville, yeah, Salisbury, and then uh, see if we can get a weekend load out of Louisville. Okay, excellent, sounds good. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Okay, okay, all right, bye bye. Uh, we're over here in Perrysburg, Ohio. We're getting ready to go load over in Toledo. Our appointment's not till twelve thirty. We're about thirty minutes away, so we're gonna get there about an hour early. So we're gonna leave here about eleven. And it is now 10.30. So we're just about ready to get out going. Um, there's old Bailey. I cleaned up the truck this weekend. I wanted to show you guys the sleeper. I haven't uh, shown you guys the sleeper in a while. Oh. So I kind of did a, not a deep clean, but I did, I washed all my bedding. So that's my bedding. It's a full size bed. There. Bailey sleeps on our little blanket right there. These right here are puppy pads. I've taught Bailey to use a puppy pad in the truck. So if we're somewhere where I can't get her out, she uses a puppy pad, she's pretty good about it. This is my little workstation computer area that I have. And I put this in myself. This used to be like a wardrobe cabinet right there. So that's where I make videos, my printer, some cookies this is a shower slash bathroom I did clean all that there's the shower head up there and I just fit in there my big butt just fits in there close that um, let's see then I usually store my water right there. I don't drink the water that I have in the truck. I just drink bottled water. A little kitchen area, microwave, refrigerator. I had a problem with the door popping open while I was going down the road and somebody recommended one of these little uh, like child proof lock things. So it doesn't happen all the time, but when I would hit a bump just right, there's my refrigerator, so pretty good size little refrigerator. And I put this refrigerator in when I bought it. Freezer up there. And then this right down here is a little crate thing. I put this in. Sometimes I go to military base or somewhere. It's just to have best to have Bailey out of the way. So alright, we'll go outside real quick. All right, I did get a chance to uh, wash the truck. It turned out nice. Washed the truck yesterday. It turned out pretty good. Dorsey trailer cleaned up pretty good. I, uh, you guys follow me on social media. Sometime either beginning of this year or the end of last year, I hit 1 million miles at Mercer. So I got a little sticker for that. Dorsey trailer's looking good. We're gonna go pick up a load, it's only 5,000 pounds. And this place I load at, usually get 46, 47,000. So I'm hoping somebody didn't make a mistake. On the computer, but we're only supposed to get 5,000 pounds.
All right, we made it over here to get loaded. It's been a long time since I loaded over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm not too sure who thought that was a good idea, but they have sprayed the dirt lot with like tar and it sticks to your tires. It sticks to your feet. I think they were trying to keep the dust down, but I think they might have regretted doing that. <laughs> Oh, so this place here takes the coils, flattens them out. They make flat sheets and diamond plate stuff like that. Here, you guys can see what the coils look like, and it looks like this week's going to be coils. So we're only picking up five thousand pounds here, which I don't even know if that's a full bundle. But we're going to pick up 5,000 pounds, take it down to Alabama, and then uh, we're going to run over to Mississippi, pick up a 43,000 pound coil, and take it up to Tennessee. So, that's our what we're going to be doing this week. So, So, we'll go down there light, but we're going to come back heavy. Man, that ground out there is nasty. All right, talk to you in a bit. Daniel? Yes, sir. As soon as he backs out of there with that coil, you're going to go straight in Middle Bay. Middle Bay, okay. Yep. It's my first time here, so let me know. He's picking up a coil and coming out. As soon as you see him come out, uh, okay. indoor four, Middle Bay. Middle Bay, thank you very much. Yep. I only got one bundle for you. Yeah, it's only supposed to be like 5,000 pounds or something. <laughs> I, was, I was shocked. I know. I was like, man, did, did somebody put the wrong number in there? Yeah, <laughs> No, that's it. It's paying full load going down there. Must be an emergency. I guess so. All right, All right thank you. Head on up there. Thank you. Oh, this, this oil stuff's nasty. That's what we got. One little stack. We're going to take a chain just to make sure it doesn't shoot forward. Throw some straps. We're going to use a little tiny tarp over top of it. We'll be out of here. Shouldn't take long at all. So this is what we got. 5,000 pounds. Just a couple pieces of flat steel. Easy. So I do this on purpose. Pinch the tarp right there. Helps hold it down. So should ride pretty good. We got chain across the front. Oh, I'm going to go back here and put this axle up. Man, that nasty tar oil stuff is all over everything. I don't know who thought that was a good idea to use that stuff. But, as soon as on the bottom of my shoes, I get all that in a sleeper. So I'm going to wipe these down real quick, spray them with some WD-40. It usually gets rid of that tar. You can see it all up in there. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Love your videos, brother. Oh, thank you. Love watching them all the time, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited. I've seen the construction here. All right. That's pretty cool. Come on over. <laughs> I got to go get it. I appreciate it. I do. All right. Well, I appreciate it. All right, brother. Have a good one, man. Thanks for watching. They uh, got a little dog park here. So we're gonna let Bailey run around in the dog park. We got just a little bit of time to kill. Hang on. Hang on, Bailey. Oh. All right, there you go. We'll let her run around. We're gonna make our way down 24 over to Fort Wayne. Get on 69, I think it is. Down to Indianapolis, 65, down to Louisville. And the reason we're going to go that way is because I need to stop by Louisville, pick up a package. And then we're going to probably spend the night there. All right, we made it over here to Louisville. To Mercer. It's uh, going on 8 o'clock. I went and picked up the little truck. Bailey's soaking up some air conditioning. i got to be careful she doesn't lock herself in there. So... <laughs> 
once again look at all the junk I got in the back of here so this is what I was after was these right here that's the old water pump for the generator that's a new alternator for the generator those are there's some door latches for the metal boxes in there and then there's polishing stuff but I don't think I'm gonna be polishing the truck anytime soon and this is cleaning supplies in there space heater what looks like a playpen is uh, it's a little wagon I put Cali in or not Cali Bailey in and then if I have to get a motel room I got a dog kennel but these right here these are heavy too these are the uh, bushings I'm gonna show you real quick So if you guys can see it, see that bushing right there? That's the bushing that goes right in there. So that goes in there. They're not pressed in. They uh, there's a big bolt. See that big bolt right there? There's a big bolt, and uh, they just go in and it screws together. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I can do that myself. But I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that's wrong. If you look, see that rust ring right around there? I painted that once. So it tells me that thing's moving around a little bit. So I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to find me a spot to put all these in. All right. I never really ended yesterday. Today is Tuesday. I know I talked about waking up early and getting down here. We're in Gadsden, uh, Alabama. And I had a lot going on yesterday afternoon. My wife's car broke down up in Tucson. My daughter had to go pick her up, my wife up, or pick my mom up and take her. And had to deal with getting a car to the repair shop. Still don't know what's wrong with it. And it's a new car, or not new, but it's a newer car. It's only got 50,000 miles on it. It's a Jeep Cherokee. So anyway, had to deal with that. So, oh, I didn't get up in time. And then, a friend of mine, I was sitting in the truck this morning. I was just getting ready to leave. An employee from Mercer, he pulls in. His, his little uh, Jeep, he's got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It was smoking. And I went over to him and I said, hey, what, what's going on? He said, I don't know. Anyway, popped the hood and the little idler, um, the little idler pulley, the bearing had burned up in it. So I told him, I said, I can fix that for you. It won't take long at all. So, and that Jeep, it's a, it was a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee of the six cylinder. Everything's right there. You ain't got to mess around with it, so and it took me about an hour or so to mess with that. Anyway, didn't get over here in time to get unloaded, but they start unloading at 6 o'clock in the morning, and we got a long day tomorrow.